What's going on guys, T2RX6 here, back for another third party review, and today we're taking a look at part two of the Warbitron set. Uh, this is Heavy Noisy, otherwise known as Brawl, and uh, yeah, he's a tank. There's not a whole ton to say about him in his tank mode here. He's looking pretty good, I think he actually is a very convincing tank. Um, you can of course turn the turret a bit, it does get hung up a little bit on the rear pieces of the tank, but uh, I suppose you could kind of pop it on off. And you actually could get it to go 360, so, and that's just by, you can see, raising the uh, peg there just a little bit. And, uh, you do have a turret that does function. Uh, it does start looking a little weird when it's all the way up. But then again, I've never really paid too much attention to a real tank to see how the front articulates like that. So, uh, yeah, but mostly I'm just going to probably end up keeping mine straight or... You know, mostly straight. <clears throat> now this guy I think is actually pretty cool, but he's not without his faults. And let me uh, pull out his guns here. He has a lot of things that can't really twist. And if you look at his gun here, he's got these little pegs here. Now I actually ended up filing down the pegs on this side and then actually shaving it clear off on the other side. And this is a problem that uh, it, it carries over to everything. So uh, you can see I did it one on one on the right side and one on the left side um, just to uh, show this. And you can see that all his well his holes on the top where you're supposed to go are these little like plus shape or well I guess not really plus shape but circles with a little you know dash through them. And uh, yeah, so you can't just plug these in anywhere. I mean you can put them in a little bit in the front, but once you get to where the pegs are, they don't go any further. Um, so it's really designed to go here, and I don't quite understand why they did this. This is actually uh, a problem that carries over to his hands, too. He's got a little channel in his hand here, and uh, yeah, I, I, don't, I don't really understand why he went with this over the circle, because it seems completely unnecessary. I did want to take a second look at the uh, instruction manual here. Very nice, like, comic book form. And you do get the second part of the really horrible uh, English uh, Warbitron story. And I really like it. And I was so unhappy to find out that with the next one, which we'll probably review next week, uh, Swindle, there's no more comic. That sucks. Why did we get rid of the comics in part three? Anyway, let's bring over Airburst here. And you can see he's actually, in terms of overall width, uh, Airburst is thinner, but overall length, uh, yeah, Airburst definitely hasn't beaten. Somehow, he just feels way bigger than uh, Brawl here, which is cool. I mean, this is not a proper scale between a space shuttle and a tank anyway, but, uh, you know, with Scramble City stuff, they were pretty much exactly the same size, and uh, there's definitely a difference here. So. so let's get this guy to his robot mode, and we'll talk about a few more of his flaws. I'm going to start by taking the guns off, and I take the turret off because it's easier that way. And uh, <clears throat> let's let's talk about the turret real quick. So you can do a couple things with it here, and be careful how you you work with this because it's just pegged in by this one hole. So I always try to keep it as close to the hole as I can as I apply the pressure to pull this off. And then what you've got here is you can take this and you can make some kind of like gun shield for uh, Brawl. I'll show you guys that uh, probably in the pictures because I don't particularly like it. And uh, you come down to here and this is actually where mine is a little bit flawed. Um, you can see the stress mark here on the plastic and if you actually uh, carefully look at it, well let's actually get it transformed. You fold this one down and you fold this down and if you actually look right inside there see that pin is actually broken off from the factory so um, this one side doesn't really hold on too well it it, it does the job um, I was very hesitant to send it back because I've heard of uh, brawls who had had worse problems than this but uh, yeah that is a problem this side's fine uh, you flip up this little yellow targeting piece Flip these little cannons or whatever around, and uh, there you go. You've got, well, this is the gun for for Brawl, and I would assume that this probably, well, actually, I guess this could be for Brawl too. I don't know. I don't really like this accessory. I don't really put it on, so I honestly can't tell you the proper way to hold it, if it's the peg hole or this flip-down piece, but 
you can pretty much get it from there. So let's start with Brawl's uh, main body here, and I'm going to put this up just so we can see it. First thing we're going to do is take this little black piece off. Uh, it's clipping in, holding the front to the back pretty much. Uh, I can't get anything in there. There's no real good place to pull it out. So I just kind of shove something in there and just pop it on open like that. So the next thing that we're going to end up doing is coming down here to the treads and just kind of slide them out from the piece here. And then just kind of take them and fold them on up. Then I come down to the legs and I give them a little bit of a split because when you do that it makes it easier to maneuver things in such a way to pop the, the hands out of these little sockets here. So once you have that, we're going to come back here and we're going to flip the foot up. And you want to make sure you have the heel spur with it. Uh, if you don't, it causes a problem. So make sure that heel spur goes with it. And we want to take this and flip them all the way around. You can see how it's going to line up with this channel down here. That's going to allow us to actually just unfold the foot very simply. So unfold that. And we've got that all set. So you might as well just go ahead and finish the foot. Just put the, the toe piece forward and the heel spur backwards. And you do have an additional heel spur for extra support. So we'll flip that down. And we'll do that again on this side here. And they gave us this nice little back panel that they didn't have to. But you take it and you flip it down and it folds in the back of the, the legs. And that's a real nice extra detail, in my opinion, that they put into this guy. So when we come back to the top, uh, you saw, you might have saw that mine flip down like this, uh, just because of how I was handling them. If not, knees up like that, go ahead and flip that all the way down. Next, we're going to take the camera and lift it so you can see. Flip his head on up and unfortunately we have to epic head reveal now. And we'll take this piece and we'll just slide it on in. You can see it's pretty much uh, cut here that it fits right in the back. Um, I guess we didn't have to do the head reveal. It would have worked anyway, but whatever. Head reveal is done. So now we'll come around the front. Uh, I flip the arms down as you can see. And this is the part that I could never get these things apart. They were so tight. And then pushing them back was ridiculously tough. All you have to do to fix that is just loosen these four screws just a little bit. And it'll just pull right on out. So, you know, the whole mechanism works way better just by undoing four screws. And nothing's loose. There's no gaps in here. Um, this one maybe has a little bit of a gap. I can probably tighten a little. But as you can see, there's really no issues with the actual arm. So, go ahead and do that to the other side. There we go. Four screws is going to save you a lot of trouble, that's for sure. And, uh, yeah, so there we go. There's our, our brawl. We can take our cannon if you want. Um, and I showed you earlier that he does have all the other things you can do with it. But I just like to put it on his back because that's what brawl did. And uh, whether you like it up or maybe a little to the side. I kind of like it to the side, so it kind of looks like he's got a big gun slinged on his back. So if you do want to use it as a gun, you can. So let's talk articulation with this guy, and I think it's only fair to really do it with this off because it does get in the way. Uh, for your arm movements, he smashes himself in the face with his tank treads. Um, so he doesn't have a whole bunch of side to side uh, unless you, you know, spin it around so you can clear it. He's got a uh, bicep swivel, just your basic, basic elbow joint, not doing anything fancy. The wrist is articulated, the hands are articulated, and this is the part I wanted to show you. See how he has these little cuts in there? So when both of these cuts existed, and you try to put it in, let me show you. I'll, I'll try to put the, the one that I've cut the side not corresponding to it. So you take it to here, and then that tab just way interferes with his thumb. Like, it's just asking to be broken. So I don't know why they made it this way. Um, let me show you something else. So here's, here's Airburst ready to go. Here's Airburst's gun. It's a circle. He holds it just fine. Why did you make these little tab things? It makes no sense to me. So anyway, that's why I cut one on one side, one on the other, because then I can actually put it into his hand here like this. 
and you'll see that my tab does slide into the channel and we can close this up and we don't break his thumb off or break his uh, his hand off in the process so again bad design I don't, I don't get it but you know fix it it's real quick easy fix so we'll come down here to his well let's talk about his head real quick it is on a ball joint but it's incredibly hard to move the ball joint because this plate likes to tilt back when you're trying to to move it around and you don't get very much forward motion on it so they could have probably just done with just a swivel on it and it would have been okay but I guess if you want him looking up it's good coming down to his waist he does have waist articulation full 360 down to the legs uh, they're a little bit limited because of the blockiness here uh, he can only go that far but you know most big bulky guys don't have huge ranges of motion on their actual legs so you know like real people so that's okay thigh swivel uh, the knee down here and it looks like well it looks like he has a, a knee swivel I just am noticing it but nothing seems to move so I'm not gonna force it um, I think the thigh swivel at the top is more than acceptable interestingly enough I can turn his thigh this way but when I try to go the other way it actually locks up up here somehow so I can only twist him one way for some reason and that's on both thighs down here on the legs uh, they did add this little piece here to give him a little bit of ankle articulation uh, it's cool I mean it really let's get down there so we can see it it really doesn't do a whole bunch that throws off the aesthetic of the robot it's a pretty you know pretty hot hidden angle tilt so put his cannon back on here and let's actually get out airburst here and we'll do a little size comparison with him so there's airburst and it's pretty cool to see just like you know how uh, everything really scaled even though it's a much smaller vehicle mode uh, in terms of length and we'll throw out the little bumblebee mold here so you can see that size difference so to summarize if you want to get out of here and don't want to wait for the uh, transformation back if I have complaints about this guy I wish the chest was a little bit broader and I wish the shoulders had some mechanism to kind of pull out a little so he wouldn't crack himself in the head uh, other than that, you know, aside from the little engineering glitches with the guns and the overly tight forearms, I think he's a pretty great toy. So let's get this guy back to his robot mode. I've already taken the turret and uh, have the guns on there. So let's get this guy transformed. We'll start by putting his arms back in here like this. Pull out the little black piece here. Oh, and one thing I did want to point out, these right here, I don't understand kind of why they did it I mean I guess it's probably because that way the arm works but these are actually screw hole covers uh, so it's pretty nice they do look like little panels on the tank so an elegant way to hide them that's for sure uh, but I don't know they could have made the arms a little better and we wouldn't have needed them but anyway so we got this we can actually come down here uh, fold his toes forward and be careful with this joint this is the only thing that I think I'm worried about is when you're kind of twerking this around it's all relying on this one little connection here so uh, don't do what I just did and just kind of you know when you move things around hold this in place a little bit better to make sure you're not uh, flexing it in any way roll those up bring his feet on down and you can bring these panels up if you really want to it doesn't really matter they're gonna do it as the leg rotates anyway once you have it over halfway you can take these pieces and flip them the other way like this and so just kinda fold them on down and around and then just kinda leave them there for now and we'll take these pieces and fold them on back into the closed position like so and there we go we got that now we'll come to the top uh, fold these on down and this is why I said we wanna keep these out of the way fold this down so it's flat and we'll have something kind of like this and now you just want to work the hands into the joints here like this and now you can actually take all this and squeeze it together and take this black piece fold it on down and into that peg holes there take his head 
Look, he's a little brawl tank. Oh, and he has no wheels. Um, so no roll on him. But that's okay. Take his head, fold it on down. Put his tank turret back on. Take these, unfold them, and then just kind of slide them on into place here. Like so. On both sides. And there you go. You got brawl back to a tank and, uh, it's a funny, easy transformation. There's not really a whole ton that's wrong with him that can't be fixed with a little bit of a, a hobby file or something like that in like five minutes of your time. Um, heck, you could even use like nail clippers to clip off these things and then screwdriver just to loosen the forearms. Other than that, I think he's a pretty solid little uh, figure. I'm glad I decided to stay on with Warbitron after the... Uh, you know, seller fiasco, and it seems like since Airburst, uh, everybody's been getting it at the same time. So, uh, yeah, next week we'll probably take a look at the Swindle equivalent, uh, unless the pile of loot shows up and, you know, makes me alter my decision, because there's some big things coming in the future, uh, MMC Predaking. So, uh, yeah, I don't know, we'll see. Probably next week will be Swindle, though. So this is TTRX6, I hope you guys enjoyed the review, and I'll see you next week.